So I've been seeing this push-up challenge go around for a little while now, and I figured I should give it my best shot. It's been maybe six months since I last uh, tried a max effort push-up challenge, so I thought I would do my best anyway. So here goes. record this because after watching the video I was not really happy with my range of motion and I noticed a lot of people when they do their push-up challenges when they're doing fast um, you know cheating a little bit obviously but they tend to do the upper portion not the lower portion I was doing the lower portion it seems easier for me or more natural um, so I want to try doing the upper portion more as well as a little bit deeper of the push-up and see how many I can actually get in 60 seconds Round two, here goes. Luigi time. That was hard. It's only been a few minutes since my last set, but definitely didn't do as good this time. Anyways, challenge you. So obviously my form could have been a heck of a lot better there, but that's not the point of the video. The point is that you can get a lot of work done in a short amount of time if you just push yourself. Um, so challenge anybody out there to try and beat me. Um, it would be fun to see anybody's results. Um, but also I failed to mention that this was a 60 second challenge. I wanted to see how many push-ups I could do in 60 seconds. It ended up being both 60 seconds and max effort push-ups kind of at the same time as you can also see. So the more I watch and re-watch my video, the more embarrassed of my form I get. <laughs> um, my form definitely on the push-ups there on that challenge were not, not good. Um, normally when I do push-ups, I do them a lot better form to get more benefit, you know? If you're just doing half reps, you're only working part of your muscles. And I noticed, especially when I did that, when I did the, the bottom rep range, I, was, I definitely noticed my chest a lot more than I did the top range right afterwards, five minutes later, and it got my triceps so much more. I was getting a cramp right at the end with my triceps, so it definitely, you know, you work in the chest more on the bottom, and, and the top range of the motion, you're getting your triceps. So it makes sense most of the time you should be using full range of motion. Um, and so it makes me want to do in one of the next videos a tutorial on the basics of the push-up and also some maybe tips and tricks that I use to utilize it to my advantage as much as possible as well as injury prevention, some of those things that you may or may not know. 
um, for beginners to advanced. So stay tuned for that one. Peace.